But sometimes the hadith is not plain and clear. For example, that a Khalifa would die and there would be disagreement concerning succession. Everybody, of course, already know who, what that applies to. A Khalifa would die and there will be disagreement concerning succession. And while those disagreements are being played out, a man will emerge out of Medina and hurry to Makkah. And in Makkah he'll be proclaimed as Imam al-Mahdi. Who is that Khalifa? There is room for interpretation here. Hizb al-Tahrir came to a conclusion which I fear they're going to regret eventually, not long from now. That because a Khalifa is going to die, the implication is that Khilafa will be restored before Imam al-Mahdi. Because the word Khalifa is used. And so Hizb al-Takhir has built the foundation of the struggle on this. That it is possible for Khilafa to be restored before the advent of Imam al-Mahdi. <laughs> and our view is no, the word Khalifa here does not stand for the restoration of Khilafa. It, it refers to any ruler. And in this particular case, we have said for many years now, he's going to be a Saudi king. A Saudi king is going to die. And then you're going to see all the fighting, infighting amongst all the princes, which has already started.